Hi guys, so just to let you know how this share funnel works in Builderall, I have my working funnel right here, and I made a clone up here called Builderall Affiliate Program, and when I share this funnel to you, I'm going to duplicate this, and then I'm going to use the transfer option right here, it made a copy. I'm going to use the transfer option to send it to your email address if you are a tier one on Team Gen. Now, cancel. What's going to happen is when you receive this funnel site in your office, you will find it under drag and drop site builder, my sites. And when you open it to edit it, you'll see that this is just a picture you'll have to recreate your own form. Now, for people that received the funnel that already has a form, you have to change your API keys. So, let's go through and see what that looks like. So we are going to edit, uh, let's edit to my live one. Okay, so this is a real form on the funnel that I'm using. When I right click the button and choose configure, this is what you guys will have to do on your side if I've shared a funnel to you that has a working form. You'll have to hit cancel, choose mailing boss again, and you'll have to put in your public and your private keys. So where your public and your private keys are is in email marketing, and then you're going to go to the drop down right here and click API keys. Now if you don't have one here, you're going to have to click generate new. And when you generate one, you'll copy and paste these numbers back into the configure of the button under mailing boss. Now, for the people who are going to recreate a form because there's an image placeholder, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new form. So I'm going to move this image over to the right a little bit just so you can see what it looks like. You're going to go into the plus sign and scroll down to email marketing. You're going to create a new form. I clicked on the name field mailing boss. Now either you have a form already created or you don't. I don't know what everybody has, but you're going to choose a list and it's going to create a new form and you're going to start editing it to match the one on the right. Okay, now when you are going to recreate the image into a form, you have to go to your mailing boss so you go to email marketing, it opens up your mailing boss, you click on your lists, hopefully you have a list, you need to have a list, if not create a new list, and you click the list that you want to attach this form to. I'm, in this example, I'm going to use membership, it doesn't totally make sense, but I'm just going to show you how this works. And then there's custom fields, so you click manage. And you're going to make sure that you have a text field for email. Email. Required. Yes. Visibility. Visible. Okay, that's it. And you're going to hit Save Changes. That's done. Your form has successfully been saved. You're going to go back to the Again, this is an image placeholder here because you have to create your own form. You're going to click the plus sign, go to email marketing. You're going to scroll down until you get to this single one because it's the easiest, the single one inline form with the green button. 
you're going to choose mailing boss and you're going to choose membership or whatever you're using again i'm just using this for an example you have to create your own lists okay now you'll see that this shows up i'm going to right click it and choose appearance and you can play with your your customization i have a number four that is customized to me to jennifer's brand with the burgundy I don't know what you have on your side, um, but you have to create your own custom button style, changing the colors and everything in here, and you're going to have to learn that anyway. So I'm not going to go crazy showing that to you. When you're done creating the right form, you're going to delete this image, and you're going to hit save, and you're going to check it on your tablet, and you're going to check it, see? Since it's new, you have to move it in. Okay, you have to check it on the mobile. This is after you edit it. You have to move it in. Okay, this will be... Actually, on mobile, what you do is you hide this element. Okay, so you're going to hide it. And on mobile you are going to create a button all over again because mobile has a different one than the um, desktop and the iPad. So you're going to have to start a new button on mobile for mailing boss, for membership, and you're going to configure it separately on mobile. And then you're going to hit save and you should be good to go. When you have that all ready, you're going to test it. And if you want to connect a, dona a donate name, you can. If you want to rename what shows up here, you can. You can take off the copy or whatever comes over. I used a keyword rich builder all affiliate program. I used a keyword because that's going to show up in Google for SEO. Good luck.